He's a very simple Russian farmer named John. He came to Russia 23 years ago. He's a citizen of Russia. He got citizenship in 1997. And I was surprised that over these years, uh, the farm never made profit. Hello, Mr. President. Um, very pleased to meet you. So we have uh, 700 cows, and uh, every cow brings 10,000 litres a year. But uh, the costs are too high now after the, no, amid this geopolitical situation, the costs are higher. And we have to sell cows because we don't have the money, no money at all. So I can't develop my business because over these 15 years, I've been loss making. So I can't develop my business if I don't have a 20 year old loan, but the banks are not prepared to give us these loans. I cannot develop my business if banks want a collateral. You know, they are asking for 120% of the actual loan in collateral. So, as I said, as you said, interest rates are like 26%. So, how long should I wait? You know, every day bankruptcy is coming closer. So, you have statistics. It seems all the data are fine, but this is not true. I'm really sorry if my statements are too straightforward, but I have five children. I love Russia. And my children's uh, homeland is Russia. And I must be certain I must be confident of the future here in Russia. No, my son has been working for two years in the UK. If he wants to go back to Russia, but he says, I'm not a fool. I don't want to toil at your farm. So you can only build a relationship based on the truth. You can only solve problems based on the facts, hard facts. So my question is, do you trust the statistics? that they provide you with. Or maybe these statistics is just a lie because people are afraid to tell you the truth. I don't like statistics. So how did you end up here in Russia? Is it because of Shoshela Farm? Yes. I don't speak French, sorry. Well, this means look for a woman. So, yes, John has a Russian wife. Yes, I married a Russian woman 23 years ago. Okay, uh, regarding statistics, in every country people complain about statistics, but the figures that people show to me, I trust those figures. You may have noticed when I answered your colleague in Kostroma, he is also in the dairy industry. I told him straight away that uh, dairy prices uh, today are lower than the production cost. And this creates a problem. And uh, the, the, these are statistics. So you can say I don't trust statistics in this case. The question is, what can we do to improve the situation? So one of the measures, I've already mentioned that, we made a decision, the government made a decision to increase subsidies for uh, loans. You've been working in agriculture for so many years, and you keep doing that. This, if everything were so bad, probably you would 
go belly up long time ago, but you keep working. I also have a, a different, uh, there is an aspect of uh, powder milk um, that's imported in large quantities, and people keep complaining about powder milk imported from Belarus, and this actually lowers milk dairy prices in Russia. But, of course, since we have an economic union with our partners, we'll have to have a frank conversation with our partners and uh, find a way to have a uniform approach and uniform subsidy levels for agriculture and different segments of agriculture, including the dairy industry. And we will definitely have to increase support. I think the government will have to increase its support specifically for the dairy industry. And there is also another aspect. You mentioned milk production. I can't tell you, I don't know uh, uh, if your figures are good, but at the moment, milk productivity, milk production levels are quite low in Russia compared to other countries. Uh, we are not very efficient. What is it, like 40 or 50 per cow? What is the average figure? Of course, there are some farms where they have, like, uh, how much milk? Well, I have 10,000 litres annually, 29 litres a day. But we need to have the right statistics for forage cows. I mean, we can just talk about average uh, levels. We have higher than average because we don't have that many forage cows. This is not right to pile every, everything in, into one thing. I mean, dairy production is critical. I agree, it is important, and it, even though it seems to you that I may not be familiar with the real situation and the government, no, we are well familiar with the real situation, and I really hope that the government will make an appropriate decision. Maybe what they're currently doing is not sufficient, but there are certain limitations with the budget, you know. We have to keep the balance, maintain the balance between different sectors. Even though agriculture is one of our priorities today, considering that we've uh, 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 have to fill the market with our own agricultural production. And as regards statistics, I still would say that I uh,